one thing about the time where we left in the summer of 1990 for a desert storm, and I didn't get back until the end of 1991. But uh, once again, the Friendly Sons were very patriotic uh, individuals, not just the military that were in there, uh, because there was veterans of all services in the Friendly Sons, and active duty, I think, from uh, all the branches were in the Friendly Sons at the time. And uh, everybody just took care of everybody. And care packages full of all sorts of things. And, I'm, and even though alcohol wasn't allowed over in the uh, area of operations over there in, the, in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait and everything, uh, somehow care packages from uh, Rosie O'Grady's ended up having a little uh, Ishkabaha, water of life, to help sustain us in such austere and, you know, desolate conditions. So we really appreciated Ron Stout, Mick Ward, and everything like that uh, while we were deployed. And the same thing carried on once we had got into Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. I remember when I was, I was a board member, I can't remember the exact time, uh, year as a board member. However, when I deployed to Iraq in 2003, then again in 2005, and again in 2007, but in 2005, 2006, I was in the Euphrates River Valley. And it just so happened that we were in one place uh, for a matter of months in, the, in uh, the town of Barwana. So I was able to acquire a little property. I had a goat ranch and a, uh, a fig uh, date palm uh, farm. And it worked out great. I had, uh, uh, but uh, it was our area of operations and I know Doc Lamar was great at making sure that we had great communication going back and forth. Plus, Doc was kind of, uh, he was instrumental. He either emailed me, wrote a letter, did something, or had communication with me. And he says, what do you need? He says, hey, how about some cookies or something like that? I said, well, do you have cookies for 180 mar uh, <laughs> Marines? Because that's what's in my company. I can't just take cookies for myself. You're going to have to do the whole uh, operation here, the whole, the whole unit. And I think from there, Doc started uh, that program, Operation Caregiver, where I don't even know how many tons of supplies, baby wipes, uh, reading, reading material, uh, snacks, beef jerky, uh, snack mix, things like that, that would make just life in those very austere, brutal uh, conditions a little more bearable. Uh, gold bond, gold bond medicated powder. Doc started slapping that in these boxes and it was that and baby wipes were lifesavers. Lifesavers. You were going we were going, you know, two months or so without a shower. So if you have some baby wipes, kind of clean yourself up in those, uh, you know, areas of your body, and then slap on a little gold bond medicated powder, <laughs> and you're good to go. You're ready to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy again. You know, hide that little straight up the middle, two up, one back, child on the objective. So thank you, Doc, for starting Operation Caregiver, all off of a request of what do you need? You know, once again, friendly sons taking care of each other.